Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Apex Legends. And in this video, we're doing something a bit different. This is going to be more of an experiment than a gameplay. So while you're here, go ahead and like the video. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. And in this experiment, we're going to see whether or not Mirage's decoys and his little clone that he sends out are visible or highlighted inside of a seer ult. And here I got my friend Trent to uh, pop his Mirage ult. As you can see, I just threw my seer ult. None of the decoys are highlighted, although he still is. I can clearly tell which one is him, but all of his decoys are not highlighted. And I'll stop talking and let you hear their footsteps. So as you can see, the Seer ult is a 100% counter to the Mirage Bamboozle ultimate. But next we're about to test out whether or not Seer's tactical will highlight uh, Mirage's tactical where he sends out another decoy of himself. So let's go ahead and jump into that. And as you can see, when I hit my old tactical, he was not highlighted. Although once I released my tactical, I was able to highlight his decoy. Even though he didn't show up as another player with the yellow ring around showing a heartbeat, I was able to highlight the decoy itself. And one final little test, we're going to see whether or not I can highlight Mirage's ultimate decoys. So let's go ahead and jump into that. All right, so my friend is about to pop his Mirage ultimate. There he goes. All the decoys have stopped, lined up for me. Again, no heartbeat, but I was able to uh, ping the decoys. So it does not show a heartbeat on, on them. So if you scan a building like it, get no heartbeats, but you hear footsteps, you know it's a Mirage decoy. And there you have it. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.